Demon Slayer Swordsmith Village episode 10 review. Um, so for this episode, we pick up after Mitsuri fortunately pulls up and she saves our protagonist, right? I'm not gonna lie, it was looking bad for Tanjiro Nezuko as well as Genya, right? Now, the first thing that I will say is that this hatred demon stays on demon timing. Okay, like, excuse the pun, but this dude is savage. Did you hear what, she, what he says to, to Mitsuri? He, he straight up calls her a tram. Okay, I mean, she couldn't even believe it, right? And he's like, there's only one person who orders me around in this world. And he's referring to Muza. Okay, this kid, dude, he's like, like he's so assertive. He's, he doesn't mess around, which is, which is quite funny. Okay, now the one thing that I will also say, dog, is that Mitsuri is very impressive. Okay, Tokito and Mitsuri, their showings as Hashira have been very good. If I can recall back to our introduction of Rengoku as well as, you know, Tengen. You know, relatively, we knew that they were strong. They were Hashira, these prestigious warriors, etc. But, you know, in a battle with the, the apparent demons, you could actually feel, or the upper moons, you could feel that these guys are punching above their weight, right? And that's how I, al I always viewed the, the Hashira relative to the upper moons. I always felt like the upper moons were relatively stronger than the, the, the Hashira, right? But with, the, with, with Swordsmith Village, I'm not going to lie, the Hashira are looking very good, okay? Which showcases the, the diversity of these characters. I mean, the fact that this lady is able to cut through any of upper force attacks is quite impressive, right? And, you know, he was even shocked to say that this lady, she's slashing through any of my attacks, she's fast, she's agile, you know, and that sword of hers, how does that even work? What kind of material is it made from? Is it a whip? Um, is it steel? You know, it's obviously steel, but damn, what kind of steel is that, right? Um, which Tanjiro even indulges as well, you know. Tanjiro thinks to himself, damn, what kind of a sword is this? The swordsmith that, that forged this is amazing. And, and Mitsuri herself is more amazing for being able to use it. Because when Mi Mitsuri even uses the sword, it looks like she's dancing. It's like she's going through um, a ballerina dance. What, what is this dance? That's like a dance, um, this other dance... You you dance around with like uh like man yeah whatever that, that that dance okay but anyway so she goes in okay she goes for the attack she manages to cut those three bugs and the one thing that I will say with Upper Four is that he looks like a more power based demon okay I'm not seeing like the speed that he has he just looks like he has these big wooden creatures that pack a punch in terms of like, you know, they have long range attacks, they can reach you far, but I'm not seeing his, you know, speed in terms of like him moving around as well as super strength. I don't feel like those powers are showcased uh, more than those other attributes anyway, right? We then get a backstory of Mitsuri, man. And is that thank God Mitsuri had like a relatively normal upbringing relative to the other Hashira. Not every Hashira has to have like a horrible backstory, but dude mitsuri is a monster that lady is a damn monster and i and i appreciate that them actually giving her that kind of power right this lady takes on a full sound attack from upper four and she takes it you know and, and we go into the backstory where we see that she grew up relatively strong well not relatively though there's an understatement actually she grew up as a monster right um, grew up as a monster as a kid he was born from normal people even you know, the master even tells her that the gods loved you which is quite true we see her wrestle sumo wrestlers she had a big appetite and even her potential lovers used to be th uh, threatened by her strength right which makes sense <laughs> no dude wants to be with a woman that that's like extremely stronger than her right but yeah, quite impressive. These Hashiras, dude, they are not the same, okay? And with Mitsuri, I would have never figured that her super strength is her attribute. I wonder if she's actually the most strongest. But I mean, I've been reading the comments on the TikTok videos I make. And everybody's talking about the dude that's always crying. I wonder if he's the strongest in terms of like super strength, okay? Not in terms of other abilities because you can't be the strongest character without necessarily having super strength, right? But anyway, yeah, Mitsuri, then she decides to go join the Demon Slayer Corps and it looks like she's friends with that one Hashira who has like snakes. Quite an interesting character, man. I wish 
we could get sagas that focus individually on all of these characters but from what i heard we've got about two acts before the conclusion so i hope we can actually flush out these characters okay another thing that i wanted to touch on which is that i don't know if it's because we're focusing on multiple hashiras but i'm not really satisfied with the showcasing of the of the hashiras man so for example the way they structure these episodes one episode will focus on tokito the other episode will focus on mitsuri and the others will focus more on nezuko and tanjiro and i can sort of feel the other characters not getting enough screen time i'm not gonna lie you know i'm missing genya i'm missing nezuko um and even in this episode i missed tokito i'm not gonna lie even though i just had like a full episode of tokito in the previous episode you know but yeah it is what it is the minute you start having more characters in your story you're definitely gonna struggle to to effectively give them screen screen time right so which makes me wonder now what about the other guys you know genya's brother the snake guy the water guy i, I that water hashira i believe that he's got in his a share of the story probably when he recruited um tanjiro but i would love to see more of that guy okay essentially i just wish i could get more time with the hashira because i love this character so much man the other thing that i wanted to touch on is the showcasing of the strength of the demons themselves the upper moons man i'm, I'm not feeling these guys okay i'm not feeling them i don't know the, the, the way they're just written in this arc is not the same as upper six and the guy that took down Rangoku, upper upper two you know it's not the same i don't know if it's because the way they written it and you know i would have thought that things would have gotten harder but i just feel like things have gotten easier for the protagonists okay so that's one story element i wanted to touch on for this episode and the other thing i miss in it too and um he knows dang can they pull up maybe at the uh like the last two episodes you know, man, I miss those guys, dude. I miss them. I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, Lady Kanroji or Mitsuri, she then gets saved by Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Genya, right? And the, the, the deal is that, look, Mitsuri will focus on distracting hatred while they, the three of them, go look for the main body of Upper Four, you know? So the, the main body is running away and is protected by that one tree um, creature. Now, Tanjiro, Genya, and Nezuko are going after Upper Four, right? So, they manage to, 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 to latch onto it while he's trying to run. And then Tanjiro manages to slice it, right? After they slice it up, dude, it starts instantly regenerating. And the problem is that now it's taking them to square one, right? So, Nezuko thinks quickly. She throws her blood on it, which slows down the regeneration. And then Tanjiro is able to use sun breathing to actually cut it up, right? Then what ends up happening is that, you know, because it's so tiny, it tries to run away. And to Tanjiro, he's so passionate, he's so angry. He's like, you, you bastard. Don't even think of running, you know, all the people that you've killed. Just to show you that Tanjiro is carrying the backs of all the people that these demons have been killing for hundreds of years you know they just want to eradicate the world of these creatures because think about all the pain and suffering that these guys cause muzan and, and the gang right but anyway genya picks up a tree and he throws it at it just to show you that genya and nezuko do they literally in the same park they they the same person okay but one thing i will say about genya man genya looks like like it hurts having his powers you know, every time he has to use his powers, ah, I don't like it, man. And when he was even biting through that tree and eating it, even Tanjiro was cringing, man, because that literally looked like looked painful. So I hope he gets some form of resolution or finds some other unique way to, you know, maybe still be able to use the, 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 the powers of these demons. But yeah, it just looks painful for now, right? So yeah. They managed to secure that boy. Um, they managed to secure upper four, the main body. Okay. And Tanjiro is about to go for, 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 for cutting the head. But we get a bit of backstory for upper four, which is that upper four has always been like somebody who's weak, who's innocent, but the world has always been um, evil towards him. Right. And I wonder if we we're ever going to get that reconciliation between, you know, Tanjiro as the main protagonist where he reaches out to these demons to say that um you might have chosen the wrong path but i can understand why you did this you know because we're not the same guys some people 
go through difficult things in, 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 in life and they end up becoming worse people, right? And some people, that adversity makes them to become even greater people. So, yeah. And I wonder if the main body is actually the strongest part of Upper 4. You know, if maybe the, 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 the hated version will end up going back to the main body and they will become one and, and a more evolved version whereby now maybe Tokito needs to pitch in Lady Mitsuri and Genya Nezuko and Tanjiro to take down the, 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 the final four if I may say it but yeah again shout out to Mitsuri bro I'm impressed I love this lady I love her attitude she's hot as hell I ain't gonna lie okay <laughs> um, but yeah don't let the wife hear that but yeah that's it for episode 10 great episode let me know what you enjoyed in the comment section about episode 10 if you like the video definitely leave a like if you enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel i'll check you guys in the next episode i'm out